An Iraqi refugee says his family has had to endure cold and damp living conditions in Dunedin because they weren't provided a full picture of the home they were moving into. He claims Immigration New Zealand made him sign a lease for an unsatisfactory property before seeing any photos. It's the latest in a series of complaints by refugees who've come to the city who say their accommodation isn't up to scratch and is even making them sick. Tess Brunton has more. Jakob Olte and his family of four were granted asylum in New Zealand 12 years after they left Iraq. Along the way, they slept in tents, travelled illegally by boat from Malaysia to Indonesia and spent six years in Cyprus. But when they arrived in an Auckland refugee resettlement centre late last year, Mr Olte says their housing troubles began. He says Immigration New Zealand got him to sign a rental agreement for a house in the Dunedin suburb of North East Valley without allowing him to see any photos first. When I signed the contract, after that, show me the place. I refused this, I not go there. She said to me, this one over. If accept, go. No accept, you can go alone, find the renter. Water drips down the side of the house, leaking through the ceiling and onto the carpet. His wife has been left effectively housebound because the property's steep steps and dampness cause her chest pain and shortness of breath. Mr Alte has ongoing knee and chest problems. Mr Alte says he's asked for support, but no one has helped them. I talked with the Red Cross, uh, didn't have any solution about that, and also I uh, contact with Wins about my case and uh, bring two certificates about my health but not have any solution. I think not care about my case. I don't know. I came to hear punishment. I don't know. Just down the road, Mustafa Allo and his family live in another cold and damp house. It's large enough to house his eight children, but it's old and too expensive to heat in the winter. The family's future is uncertain after their landlord issued them a notice to leave after a year and a half at the property. Last year I go and ask about house in New Zealand. Should be I am refugee, I get house in New Zealand house. So they give me private house and too big, too expensive, it was dump, old. Mr Allo says all he wants for his family is stability. He hopes he can continue living in the neighbourhood they've made their home. But finding a place big enough for his family is going to be difficult, especially in an already stretched property market. Another refugee, Ahmed al Ghanim, who spoke through an interpreter, says the cold, damp conditions in his Dunedin home are making his family sick. They have enough because they have the war in Syria. They suffer a lot in Syria when they have the war. That was looking for opportunity for them and their children to better life and safe. But when they came and they find this issue, like they feel they're still in war, it's not really the standard they wanted life for living with the children. Calls to the landlord garnered no help. Mr al Ghanim says he was told he could leave at any time, but finding affordable, adequate housing is easier said than done. Five of their children sleep in one room with three single beds pushed together. It's cold and the floor beneath the carpet is damp, but it gets fresh air. Their parents sleep in the lounge with three-month-old Ali. Their bedroom is unsuitable because it's too damp. The fridge door is filled with medicine. Their son Ali recently spent three nights in hospital because he couldn't stop coughing. Immigration New Zealand says in a statement it works with other agencies to ensure refugees are well connected and supported for their new lives in either government housing or private rentals. But the Valley Project community worker Charlotte Wilson says the families feel disempowered after seeking help from government services without success. Ms Wilson says they should have healthy, affordable housing in the suburb of their choosing. I feel ashamed that this is what our country has offered. We've said, we will house you, this can be your home, and this is what the situation is. A new group of refugees is expected to arrive in Dunedin next month. Those who are already here hope it will be a warmer and drier welcome for the new arrivals. In Dunedin for Checkpoint, Cortez Brunton, Tane.